Michael, thank you. So we've heard Brian Cashman, Hal Steinbrenner, kind of talk about that meeting you had in Southern California. And can you kind of take us inside the room and what stood out to you and maybe to Garrett about the Yankees pitch? I think, you know, how those meetings go is that the players, and there's a lot of communication that goes on. But in the end, you know, I asked Aaron questions about what the clubhouse would be like. And, and then Garrett kind of went through and talked about his experiences uh, with other teams and, and how it works with the Yankees. But it, it, Andy Pettit, I think, threw a nine-inning shutout in that meeting. He was... Um, I had, had some questions about what it was like to pitch in Houston versus New York and really how he described as a player about his life, you know, his wife coming to New York young, his ascension as a becoming a star player, what it was like to be a young player, the intensity, the feeling of the New York fans. And as humble as he was, he brought up his losses. And Garrett, of course, knew every win he had. He knows every stat. And um, the dialogue between them was was really, you almost wish you had it, you know, uh, had it filmed because uh, the portrayal of what it is to be a Yankee from a Yankee great uh, and and being really a relatively current player, uh, it, it it's just something that, couldn't have been better and I think Cash's statement they asked what Garrett and Amy's goals were and their goals as a couple were we want to win a world championship that was their first thing and he said well we're a franchise that we're going to give you that opportunity every year you play here and and I think from there it was really just a, a an acclimation process but one of the things I think that that meeting you came from it where Garrett clearly understood from a player's perspective about what it's like to be in New York and, and to grow a career here. And, uh, and I think he gave him great insight. Scott, we've all seen him pitch. We all know why he is such a dominant pitcher. You've known him since he was a teenager. What gives you the utmost confidence that he will embrace all of the pressure and all the expectations that New York has to offer? You know, when you're around youth athletes that are dominant, many of them, because their skill's so great and, and overwhelms them, and Garrett was like that because he was always the the hard thrower. The the All games as a youth were relatively easy for him, but that was not something he ever really uh, shouldered in a way that said, I'm successful. He always knew there was more. Uh, when he went to UCLA, it was always about growth. Um, he is relentless about always trying to uh, pursue the latest and newest information to be better. And that, that drive, uh, his ability to learn, um, and plus a skill level, that's what makes these great ones so rare because they have that unique skill, but they also have a desire to never, ever not believe that they can't be better tomorrow. He mentioned how he's always wanted to be a Yankee, but beyond that, how much did not only his legacy as a player, but the chance to achieve over the next nine years potential Hall of Fame career in pinstripes matter to him? You know, in free agency, when you go through this and you've got, in his case, 10, 12 teams, <laughs> I just told him, we, we have to limit this. I, I'm going to have you in a hotel room for six hours a day for two weeks. And you, and so we kind of designed it where he could get a good feel and listen and understand and go through things. And you have a couple of rounds of the economics to really give him a place of where everyone's at. And essentially, what he said there today when he held up that sign you really realize the the history of him and his father. The Yankees are a part of Mark and Garrett Cole as father and son. And all of that comes about. And when he came to me and said, you know, I kept that sign. I said, you kept that sign? And he goes, yes. And I go, well, you know, it had been kind of nice to know before I went and met with all these teams. Because I, I said, that's kind of an important fact that it's it was a thing. He goes, yeah, I'm, I get it. And so it was, 
once he gave me the direction to pursue with Hal and, and, and Cash to move to negotiating the final elements of this, it was clear to me that he wanted to know everything, but in the end, he, he really felt that, you know, this is where the, the history of the Cole family was and his father and son relationship, and frankly, where his dream originated from. Well, it's a great day for Cole, for you, for the Cole family as well, and certainly for the Yankees. Michael K., Meredith Morakovic standing by with General Manager Brian Cap.